So, in astrology, remedies are very important. Why? Because, see, it is not a science of fatalism. Fatalism. It does not make you, you know, it is not like this thing is going to happen. Astrology, first of all, tells you what is going to happen in future so that you can plan accordingly, prepare yourselves accordingly. If the event is unpleasant, you can try to, you know, prepare yourself better to face it. And ultimately, remedies can also be taken care. So making suitable changes in the nature of ourselves, being mentally, emotionally, physically prepared for the things coming is what the sages intended us to do. And generally, you will see classics of astrology. There are not no mention of traditional remedies, what we traditionally think as remedies. Why? Because remedies are generally religious in nature. And astrology is universal. Anyone can practice astrology. So the religious remedies are not included, but it is a very essential part of astrology. For this particular reason, in many texts, you will see some glimpse of remedies. Right. So the prime purpose is that after you have prepared yourself mentally, emotionally, physically for the event and, and have done everything, then remedies come to the play. And with, you know, with Hinduism, because Hinduism have such great, you know, spiritual practices and have many rituals and, you know, methods and vidhis using which even impossible can be made possible. Those who have devotion, those who have experience of genuine, authentic puja karma, right? They know it and they will swear by it. So a remedy done with devotion, a remedy done with dedication can even make impossible happen. And this is tested over time, right? Not only that, in fact, our regular puja that we are doing in our home, if we do it properly, then it is enough to save us from small problems that come in day-to-day -day life. If one is regular in their, uh, in their practice of worship and they are careful about it also, then what I have seen that people who have a, you know, who know about how to do proper worship and who have a regular, you know, worship schedule also, these people generally remain free of diseases. A small problems such as accidents, fights with people, jealousy, etc. These things do not affect them. And their life is very smooth. You know, see one disease in five years, six years, everyone will have. But generally small diseases, small obstacles, small troubles, fight, fighting with, you know, neighbors and all of these small things do not bother them. If one have regular worship practice and they also know how to worship properly. The pity with our thing, with our, you know, in Hindu society today is that we talk a lot about Hindu dharma and spirituality and all of these things. But we don't know even basics of spirituality, even basics of worship. Though I know that spirituality is different, I agree to the point that spirituality is different and worship procedure and worship method is different. Worship is different and spirituality is different. But if our sages used to live in forests, there they used to do homa and worship of the God. And these sages were the ones who reformed the spirituality of the world by Hindu spirituality and mysticism then it is no surprising coincidence, right? There is something into it. The purification of mind and body and thought and desires and deeds happen with a proper worship ritual. And only after purification of body, mind, emotions, thinking, etc., then you can expect concentration and higher mental powers to descend. And only then, people are able to make those reformative changes that our sages have made, right? So, one very basic thing that I have seen people do wrong in worship procedure is Deepam, right? Deepam, you know, lamp. In every religion almost, 
some form of fire is highly venerated. Whether you are using deepam lighting a lamp, using a candle, or you are using dhupam. These are all the different forms of fire. You see, as per Hindu spirituality mysticism, this human body is made out of five elements. Fire is one of them and fire is very essential and this fire is represented by Deepam, Candle or Dhupam. So proper lighting of Deepam, this is very essential, very mandatory, without which we cannot expect good results to come. First thing is, you see, what I have generally seen that when people light a Deepam, they put it on the ground. This is wrong. The Deepam should never be put on the ground. First of all, you should either make a triangle or a circle or a, you know, or a star, a six-pointed six pointed star or two triangles, one triangle facing upward, one triangle facing downward on the ground, either with water or with something turmeric or a million, etc. And put akshat unbroken rice over it. Then only over this, you know, triangle, circle or this shatakol, star and unbroken rice over it. Only above it, the deepam should be placed. Otherwise, placing the deepam directly on the ground is a major flaw in worship. That should be avoided under all conditions. You see this Deepam, Deepakam Karma Sakshi, right? Deepam is the witness of your worship procedure. You are doing mantra chanting, you are worshipping God. God will listen to your prayers. So you will do the prayers and then God will listen to it. But who is the witness that you have done the worship procedure? Who is the witness that your heart is pure? Deepam is the witness. Deepam is a form of Lord Agni, Agni Dev. And in Rig Veda, the first mantra is dedicated to Agni Dev. Agni is a very popular Vaidic deity. Deepam is a form of Agni. So as you light Deepam, you worship Agni Dev also. And because Agni is most Agni is considered that important that it is worshipped first in the Rig Veda. Lighting a lamp, Deepam should be one of the first things that you do in your worship procedure. And this is the evidence for your hard work. This is the evidence of your worship. This is the evidence of the purity of your thought. So many a times when you worship without lighting a lamp, the results of worship or the result of the ritual does not come to you because there is no evidence, there is no witness. So it is very important. If you want to take 100% result of, if you want to benefit 100% from any ritual that you are doing, Homa, Yagya, Mantra, Chanting, Stutra, reading, lighting a lamp is very, very important. Now, while lighting the lamp, you see, when you are worshipping, of course, disease, obstacle, obstruction, these things come in life because of negative energies. Negative energies can be in your home also because of some, you know, negative person have came to your home or some family member is becoming negative right? because they are going through a depressed phase or they are heartbroken or something like that or an evil eye is affecting. So, you know, negativity is all around us, right? Day is followed by night, night is followed by day. So every positivity is followed by negativity also. And it is very essential to protect ourselves from negativity. And who protects us from negativity? It is Bhairav who protects us from negativity. Not only that in Hinduism, in spirituality, Tantra, we also believe that there are many souls whose last rites are not done properly. There are many souls who are roaming everywhere. And whenever someone is worshipping or doing any ritual unguarded, then these souls flock to that place and you know, steal the auspicious or the good result of the worship so that they can get the merit of the worship and they can leave this state of being and can get emancipation or can go into heaven or hell, whatever. Right? Stop roaming in this planet. So many, so this Bhairav is represented by Deepam. In the Deepak, Bhairav is also worshipped. Right? 
there is a particular mantra that is chanted while lighting a lamp om tikshnadrashta mahakaya kalpanta dehnopam bhairavai namastubhyam mam anugyam datu maharas this particular mantra is seeking permission from bhairav right so deepam is also considered a form of bhairav along with the form of agni dev and lighting a lamp makes you sure that the power that is generated by this ritual is not stolen by any being and used for their purpose but it remains with you so it is a bit natural that if you don't light a lamp properly at the start of the worship then the benefit or good result of the worship can be stolen and you will be left with little to no result this is these are one of the major reasons why people you know have distrust in remedies or why it happens that even after doing multiple remedies you know things are not working because we are not careful about the small small mistakes that we are making that should be rectified if you want the good result to happen along with that mantras of agni can also be done so those who are brahmins and if you have read veda the first mantra of rigveda as i told you belongs to the agni god that mantra can also be chanted while lighting the lamp or my personal is ram agni mantra om ram ramaya namaha if you chant this particular mantra while lighting the lamp it is agni mantra also ram mantra also it gives you the blessings of vishnu and makes sure that you always remain protected also the first mantra of sri shuktam as i have told talked about in one of my first videos also right the first mantra of rigveda is my personal recommendation when you are lighting a lamp you should first of all essentially light a lamp and while lighting the lamp the first mantra of rigveda you should so the first mantra of sri suktam you should chant right first mantra of sri suktam that is the om hiranyavarana maranim suvarajasyam chandram ranamim lakshmim jata vedo ma avah this should be chanted while lighting the lamp this will make sure that you have financial prosperity and no dearth of financial resources in your life this you can do so chanting the first mantra of sri suktam om hiranyavaranam haranim suvarna jasyam chandram hiranim lakshmim jata vedo ma avah or chanting om ram ramaya namaha while lighting the lamp is my strong recommendation along with that seeking permission from bhairav before lighting the lamp By the mantra Om Tikshna Drishta Mahakaya Kalpanta Dehnopam Bhairavai Namas Bhimmam Anugyam Datu Maharasi. This should be done, and it will make sure that you remain protected throughout the day. The merits and the power and the good result of the worship is not stolen by negative energies, negative forces, negative souls. Your worship is not disturbed by negative energies. Many a time, what happens? Your worship is disturbed by someone, and this is because of the influence of negative souls around. So this also does not happen. and financial prosperity is also there in life there is no financial dearth in life and when i say financial prosperity will be there you should understand that this is a very effective remedy for getting a job getting promotion finding new business getting more clients customers and all of these things it is a remedy for that right you people are intelligent i don't have to explain it every time i talk about something right so that is also there and you know there is one more thing how the god is supposed to help you what a god will do if you are you know doing this priyogam for wealth do you think that god will come and give wealth to you or one day you will sleep and next day when you wake up you will find money below your pillow certainly not so how god will help you it is told in deepam also there is a mantra for lighting deepam and that mantra told is yajman buddhi prakashaya right so deepam the lamp gives light you know prakasha i mean lighting the intelligence of the one who is worshiping right so deepa gives you good intelligence it gives you the guidance of god it gives you good decision making abilities so you say when you do remedy for accumulating wealth then god is not going to come here and give you wealth but he is going to give you ideas using which you can generate wealth he can give he will give you good decision making abilities so you don't lose wealth because of your foolishness or because of wrong decisions and this guidance and protection from god is best done when you light a lamp because you know the 
consciousness, the rise of consciousness, because lighting the intelligence also means that as one worships deities, one also becomes more conscious, more self-aware, becomes calm. And all these results of meditation, being calm, having control over your senses, having control over your mind, this real effect on, on personality of spirituality becomes very evident when you light a lamp before worshipping with proper procedure, right? That I'm explaining you in this video. And also that God keeps on guiding you. That God keeps on guiding you in every decisions that you make. So that there are less mistakes in your life. There is less repentance in your life. And also whatever worship you are doing or whatever is your purpose, that purpose is fulfilled as God starts guiding you in that particular area. Now, in the lamp, this lamp, Deepam, that you can light, you can either light a Deepam of clarified butter ghee or you can light a Deepam of oil. Generally, if you want wealth, prosperity, happiness, and other such good results, the deepam of clarified butter, the deepam of ghee should be lighted, lighted. And this should be lighted on your left side, on your left hand side. If one wants freedom from diseases, if one wants to win over enemies, become victorious in fights, to safeguard from evil, and for protection, lamp of oil should be lighted. And this lamp should be lighted in right direction. Right. So you say like I am sitting here. Temple is in front of me. The deepam of ghee on the left hand side. Deepam of oil in the right hand side. In this oil for freedom from diseases. And other such things. Other such negative things which happen naturally with time. That freedom from diseases etc. The oil of any flower can be used for the eradication of negativity which comes from others, enmity, court case, fights, litigations, jealousy, etc. Then oil of mustard oil, what you call mustard oil should be used. Right? Now, with dhupam, with deepam, dhupam is also very necessary. Right. Deepam is a direct form of Agni. Dhupam is an indirect form of Agni. There is a saying. Right? There is a saying, Agni Mukha Vai Deva. God accept your offerings through Agni, through fire only. So Dhupam, right? So Dhupam Deepam is the process, right? So you have to light you can light dhupam first and dhupam after that. You can light dhupam first, dhupam after that. But dhupam and dhupam both have to be there. Right? So they are both the, diff both are different forms of Agni. It makes the Agni element powerful in your life. So as Agni elements become powerful in your life by daily lighting of dhupam and dhupam, southeast direction and southeast direction related vastu defects, if there are any that will be eradicated. Problems, problems, afflictions, weakness related to planet Sun and Mars in the horoscope will also be afflicted. Lighting dhupam, deepam every day properly is also one of the best remedies for 10th house. Not only that, even the Rashi, Aries, Leo and Sagittarius are positively impacted and any bad combinations happening in this house becomes good, becomes less painful. Any weak planet situated in this house also becomes powerful. So lighting dhupam and deepam every day properly. And if you want maximum benefit of lighting lamp, it should be complemented by lighting dhupam also. Right. So properly doing worshipping procedure, proper worship procedure done every day is one of the greatest remedies that one can do and proper worship procedure done every day will take care of all the things in horoscope. The only thing is that you have to know about the proper worshiping procedure. Right.
you should know about proper worshiping procedure. There's one point that was in my mind. It's just skipping, just trying to recollect it. But okay, chalo, leave it. It will come, I will tell you. Right. Constant, you know, daily worship. As I, I have already told you the results, right? Like those who have a habit of daily worshiping. These small, small problems, disappointments, fights, and these things. Slowly, slowly, they go from their life. And if you are habit... If you have a habit of daily worshipping and you continue it for four or five years, then you will see that after four or five years, your life have transformed so greatly that all your, you know, friend circle or your friends and all of these people, they are at some other place lower than you and you have reached at a higher place, right? So this is the first thing that needs to be done. Bhupam, as Deepam lights the you know, lights the worship place. Dhupam is specifically focused at making the place fragrant. And Dhupam is representative of earth, either, sorry, air element also. So lighting a Dhupam take care of Saturn. Any problems, etc. related to Saturn is taken care of. Vastu defects of west and northwest direction is also taken care of. Problems related to 7th house are also taken care of. Any problem related to the sign Gemini, Libra and Aquarius is also taken care of if you light Dhupam every day after or before Deepam in your worship procedure. This Dhupam can be made up of multiple objects. So that's not an issue. Many people think that Dhupam comes from Islam and it is not accepted in Hinduism. They are very ignorant. Dhupam is very prominently used in Hinduism also. Specifically for Devi, there is some, you know, there is a couple like Dhupam known as Samrani cups. As Navaratra is running, these Samrani cups can be lighted every day to please Devi. And that will be very good, very beneficial. So that can also be done. Right. Lighting the dhupam makes the worship hall fragrant. And in your personal life, it gives you enjoyment, things to enjoy. See, everyone does hard work. And when we work, our purpose is troubleshooting. I, I think every professional is into troubleshooting, right? They are doing something or other for the society. So person doing their work and getting their salaries or getting, you know, getting their livelihood out of it is what is everyone is having. But along with that, imagine if you also start having appreciation from your seniors, bosses, or the people you help, they come up to you and they tell you how you have changed their lives. What will happen? Nothing more will happen. But you will have a feel-good factor. You will have a proud factor. You will love your work more. So this appreciation, this little extra, is what I am referring to as enjoyment for someone's from some people's life. This little extra is missing. And this little extra will come if you light dhupam every day. In fact, lighting dhupam and dhupam can be done every day, both times in morning and evening also. And if you want more of this appreciation and little extra, what you can do is then, except from the daily worship processor, you can also light dhupam anytime in your home and, you know, in your living room or, you know, in the sitting area near your sofa. It will keep the home fragrant also and will give you that little extra as well. Right. So that should be there. Now, one more thing is there. This Akshat, I told you, you will make a circle or a triangle or a six pointed star and will put Akshat over it, unbroken rice over it, and then will keep lamp over it. Now, this unbroken rice have very great uses in Tantra. This unbroken rice should be mixed with 1 million turmeric, saffron and clarified butter. Mixing with these four things, leave it for some time and then offer it to goddess, offer it to Devi, any goddess, Lakshmi Durga, any goddess you can give, give to. The goddess that you worship, the goddess that you feel more connected with. Doing it 
will please the devi to a great extent and it gives wealth to the native also so for wealth related problems finance related problem profession related problem and to get a job to get promotions this is very effective remedy multiple times tried and tested you should do it not only that one more secret thing i will tell you re related to this akshat clarified uh, sorry unbroken rice mix this unbroken rice with clarified butter and vermilion and take 108 or 1008 pieces of this unbroken rice now this 108 or 1008 pieces now what you can do you can take 108 names of devi 1008 names of devi you will find the stotra also or 108 or 1008 separate names also if you are taking separate name you put om before the name nama after the name right om durgaaya nama om durga devya nama om ambikaaya nama om right kumariya nama this way and chant one name put om before it nama after it take a unbroken rice mixed with vermilion clarified butter offer it to the 108 if you are doing 108 names 1008 if you are doing 1008 names or you can do a singular mantra 108 times and after one chanting give one unbroken rice offer one unbroken rice to devi right so you say you are taking the om durga devya namaha offer one unbroken rice om durga devya namaha offer second unbroken rice om durga devya namaha offer third unbroken rice so before doing that you can take a small cup you know count 108 unbroken 108 pieces of akshat put it into that and then you can offer it to devi this is one of the one of very powerful remedies to please devi so you know you can have a wish or desire in your mind that this should happen that i want this to happen make a sincere prayer to devi do this practice and i can guarantee you that if you do this continuously for 41 days no matter what is your desire it will be fulfilled for sure 100% guarantee i can give you two things have to be there the desire should be realistic point one secondarily the devotion should be 100% this pleases devi greatly and if you do it without any desire then it gives you happiness i talked about that little extra it give you happiness in your life and it gives you protection and by protection i mean it keeps you free from diseases it keeps you free from fight enmity accidents and all of these things all the type of protection from negative negative energies negative entities negative people negative events negative happenings in life it will protect you from specifically those people who are having a strong eighth house strong malefic planet in eighth house right you know strong or afflict strong and afflicted eighth and sixth house will give you surprise sudden bad events which torment your life and this is the thing from which you need protection so this is a very very effective and strong remedy right not only this you so you see this lighting the lamp before starting the worship you do it every day in the morning in the evening you can do it both times or you can do it one time depending on your worship schedule and all of that but if you specifically if you are only lighting lamp for a dt this this can also be done that special special like in worship for example there is a motivation for worship no there is a main thing in worship for example mantra chanting that my worship primarily consist of mantra chanting and this is the prime mantra that i chant or my worship primary consist of stotra reading and this is the primary stotra that i read so if you worship primarily to light lamp and offer it to dt either in your home or in the temple it is called deepadana right this deep danam is specifically done for bhairav hanuman goddess sitala durga and kartavir arjuna specifically done for them so can be done in their temples temples of bhairav hanuman durga sitala can be easily found sitala temples can are little rare to found but it can be found kartavir arjuna temples you will not find so that have to be done in home only it can be done for these gods and it greatly pleases these gods 
the deep danam for bhairav is generally done for protection winning in court case litigations fights alleviation of diseases etc hanuman also saves you from diseases gives you victories saves you from negative energies negative people gives you strength goddess sitala gives you freedom of diseases durga gives you protection also power as well and kartaviri arjun specifically kartaviri arjun that is an incarnation of sudarshan chakra maybe you don't know but once the sudarshan chakra of lord vishnu became very egoistic that lord vishnu is able to destroy uh, you know demons only because of my help so i am more mighty and more powerful and he took birth he took incarnation as kartaviri arjun kartaviri arjun was one of the two who defeated ravan and kartaviri arjun was the demon who was you know killed by parashuram right so narayan as parashuram killed kartaviri arjun and he went back to his the original form of sudarshan chakra this kartaviri arjun is worshiped for nasht dravya prapti so if money is lost and you want to recover it kartaviri arjun is the go to deity if you have you know if someone have left home or if someone have left you to get them back also kartaviri arjun is the deity that you need to please and kartaviri arjun is greatly pleased with divadanam there is elaborate procedure of divadanam for kartaviri arjun that i don't intend to deal in this video but specific but you can specifically find out a time when you will be lighting lamp for kartaviri arjun you can light lamp while remembering kartaviri arjun and having your desire in your mind it will greatly please kartaviri arjun and if you are the right person to whom the money belongs to or if you are the right person to whom the person should come back to he will come in fact many a times when the children have left home or when the children have lost their place to home or if someone have lost their place to home if someone is missing two three times in my astrological practice i have recommended people the remedy of kartaviri arjun and all the three times i have recommended them remedy in afternoon they did the remedy in the evening and before the next sunrise either the person came or information about the person came that this person is found at this this place you come here and take the person so it is so great and effective that it can be done for durga sitala bhairav and hanuman also very effective. temples of these deities also you can find temple of bhairav hanuman durga sitala can be found out lighting lamp can be done for them you should remember the procedure making a circle triangle or a six pointed star below keeping akshat over it then lighting lamp over it right so deep danam is an elaborate procedure but going to the temple keeping wish in your mind lighting lamp with the purpose that i am here to de do deep danam only and after lighting the lamp mantra chanting stotra reading and you know and praying to the deity will do the work for normal people like you and me it will do the work so that's not more of an issue in fact you know sometimes what happen suddenly a trouble comes so sometimes you have anticipated the trouble that i am feeling you know like i am not feeling well since 2 3 days and suddenly on the 4th 5th day something had happened so this you are already anticipating or you know you are not keeping well with your boss since last one two month and suddenly and then you know a termination or a demotion or something like that came a notice came that so you are already expecting that you know that is going to happen but sometime what happens things suddenly happen right suddenly some disease comes or suddenly some notice etc some sudden bad unfortunate event comes now in the case of this sudden miss happening deep danam is the best remedy generally done in the evening evening time between sunset to night at the end of the day and the start of the night if you listen to a bad news at the earliest evening that is coming do deep danam light a lamp for any deity between bhairav hanuman sitala kartaviri arjun durga you can choose light lamp for that deity in the evening and it will make sure that the condition does not become more worse the condition does not become worst the condition does not further deteriorate 
So at the time of, you know, sudden calamity, if a sudden calamity have befall on you, then there is no remedy greater than deep dhanam. Right? To make sure that the problem does not increase, deep dhanam is best. In fact, in the month of Posh, between December to January, if you light a lamp for sun god every Sunday, morning, evening, it will please sun god greatly. And it will, you know, like it will remove all the afflictions, blemishes and weakness from sun if there is any in your horoscope. Specifically, if you say sun is the 10th lord or sun is situated in the 10th house, then it will help you get a job. Sun is the 7th lord or situated in the 7th house, it will help you get married, etc. Et to please Lord Vishnu, lighting lamp every morning and evening in Kartik month, in October, November month, for Lord Vishnu, lighting lamp pleases Lord Vishnu greatly and as Lord Vishnu is pleased, Mercury will become powerful, strong, affliction-free in your horoscope. Even the signs Gemini and Virgo will become powerful and affliction-free in your life. And as Vishnu is the god of dharma, if there is someone who is not able to, you know, fulfill the wishes and demands of their family members because of some reason or the other, because of having, you know, financial problems or because of not having a job, etc., then pleasing Vishnu through deep dhanam is the best remedy. To get promotions, to get desired transfer, to get desired posting and to have proper progress in your profession, to have good progress in your profession, to get more clients, expand your business. Pleasing Lord Vishnu through Deep Dhanam is the best thing that you can do. You do it continuously for two months from 1st of October to 30th of November. You do it for two months continuously straight this particular year and then you tell me. It is already 15th, 16th of October, so next year you do it. Right. And then you tell me and you don't have to wait for the next year for the remaining time also start just starting from tomorrow you can do it and it will greatly help. Right. It will greatly help you. Specifically lighting lamp on the day of eclipse. On the day of Sankranti when sun is changing sign. Lighting lamp on Krishna Ashtami and lighting lamp on all the mornings and evenings of Navratri is very beneficial. And if you do it, for example, an year will have two or four eclipses. So if you light a lamp in the evening of all these four eclipses, if you light a lamp on all the 12 Krishna Ashtami of the year, if you light a lamp on all the 12 Sankrantis of the year, and if you light a lamp on all the 18 days of Navratri, 9 days in March, April and 9 days in this October, November, then it will make sure that throughout the year you remain protected from negativity, negative energies, negative people, bad people, calamities, fights, etc. So these are special days for special days for Devadhanam. So if you cannot do Devadhanam or light a lamp every day, then at least on these days you should light the lamp. Specifically those people who are suffering from problem related to means ancestors, Pitrus. If they light a lamp in the evening of Amavasya, and you know, after lighting a lamp, keep some food, like make food in home and before anyone consumes it, offer it to the ancestors on the evening of uh, Amavasya with a small prayer to gods. Do it for one year and all the blemishes related to Pitru Dosha's ancestors, mains, etc. will be dissolved. That I can guarantee you. That, that I can guarantee you. And lighting of the lamp in worship, there are three ways to do. Either you can continuously light the lamp. This is called Akhand Deepam. For example, if someone is doing Navarath for nine days, right? So this is a specific time-bound procedure that you are doing. So you can make sure that the Deepam keeps on lighting for nine continuous days. This is method one. Generally, the Deepam is lighted at the starting of the worship and is kept lighted till the worship is going on. After that, you leave it and the clarified butter or oil extinguishes and the Deepam is off. Right. Deepam blows off. Or generally, what people do is after worship also, some people light another lamp after worship with the intention that as our worship is over and we will go out of the temple, DT will come and DT will eat all the offerings and accept our prayers and DT will ask from the lamp 
the activities that we have done and will grant us boons accordingly. So according to me, if you think that you are doing remedies, but you are not getting proper effect or you are doing things, but they are not being as effective as they should be, I will recommend you <clears throat> to light lamp at the end of the worship also. If there is already a lamp lighting from the starting of the worship, then lighting another lamp, of course, should not be done. Then in that particular scenario, lighting a, lighting a dhupam at the end of the worship should be done because dhupam is a good equivalent to deepam also. Right? So that is should be, that is to be kept in mind. Now this deepam, deepam can be made up of gold, silver, copper, bronze and multiple things, right? Generally it is told that if you want fulfillment of desires, like if there is a great desire in your mind that is not getting fulfilled since last four or five years, for example, someone have enough money, they also want to purchase home, but they are not able to purchase. It. Then in that particular scenario, deepam made up of gold should be used to attract people to yourself to become more attractive, to have more mass appeal. If you want that your wife, husband, children remain under your control, they keep on loving you, then Deepam of silver should be used. Right? In the same manner, Deepam of bronze, iron, soil, wheat, wheat of green gram is also used. Generally, the Deepam of copper is used. That is the best. To win in fight court case litigation, Deepam made up of wheat should be used. And in front of this Deepam, if you read Adit Hirde Stotram three times, it will make sure that you win in the fight court case litigation. If you make Deepam of the wheat of green gram, take green gram, mix it in mixer grinder, make Deepam out of it. Let put clarified butter into it, light the Deepam. And it is best for Shanti Karma. So if you want to pacify a planet by doing mantra, chanting, homa, etc., or if you wanted to pacify a disease by mantra, chanting, huma, etc., then this Deepam is the best Deepam that you can light. Now in Deepam, what is there? There is an object of Deepam. You put clarified butter or oil into it. Then there is Bhatti also, the thread which you light. This thread should be washed thrice. So washing thrice means you take this thread and you know you keep it into your hand, put some clarified butter or oil into it and rub it once. Then again, put clarified butter or oil into it, rub it twice. Then again, put clarified butter or oil into it and put it thrice. Three times it is done this way, right? The smearing is done three times. And then it is put into the lamp. Now, generally, this is the white thread that is used. Right? This white thread is used for all purpose. Also, if you want peace, prosperity, mutual love and support in your family, then it is the white thread that you have to use, right? Multiple other things are also, there are different type of thread and a different type of object for the Deepam is used for Chad and Mohan, Stamban, etc. That I am not covering in this particular video because then it can be misused. So leave it. Now the Deepam can light, you know, now in this particular Deepam, Deepam can be of two types. One is, now you see, one is a circular Deepam and the flame is here. That is normal. Another is, you see this type of Deepam and the flame is here. Now this particular area, generally in all types of worship, this should be for facing east. If this is facing east, it gives all type of happiness, enjoyment, fulfillment of wishes and all of these things. If this is facing north, then it is best to get the blessings of Goddess Lakshmi for financial prosperity. For financial prosperity, the Deepam should face the northern direction. For all round happiness and for all other good purposes, it should be, followed for. It should be facing eastern direction. For protection, right? If you are worshipping a particular deity to protect yourself from disease, enemy, calamities, etc. For example, if you are worshipping Bhairav, Hanuman or Devi for this purpose, the three major gods who are worshipped for this particular purpose, then this Deepam should be facing western direction. This Deepam should be facing western direction. 
So this is also a particular thing. This should also this can also be kept in mind. Now, because I have open paint, I should explain you something. You are sitting here, right? At this X. Light a deepam, one deepam, then light three deepam, then light nine deepam. So this is a this is a triangle that you have now made, right? You are sitting here. This triangular deepam, this 13 triangular deepam is done for Devi Durga. It have a very specific procedure. Light the deepam in this particular way. This is done in the morning. Before lighting the deepam, a small rangoli is made on the ground. Akshat unbroken rice is kept. Above that, these deepams are kept. The deepams are of gold, silver, copper or mud or of soil, mittikadiya. It is filled with clarified butter or oil. If you want protection and freedom from diseases, winning over enemies, etc., then oil should be used. Otherwise, for prosperity, wealth, good result, good luck, happiness, fortune, clarified butter should be used. You know that. Then the thread should be colored red. The thread that you put into the deepam to light should be colored red. And then by chanting Navarna Mantra, oh, this Chamundai Vichyavan, by chanting this particular mantra, all these 13 deepams should be lighted. Now, after lighting this 13 deepam, either you can read complete Durga Shaptashati. And at the end of it, you can offer flowers in the front of deepam at the mouth of the triangle, the upper part of the triangle. Right? And after that, you can chant Navarna Mantra. Or you can light the Deepam by chanting Navaran Mantra, Oh, ma'am, Rim Klim Chamundai Vichy. And after that, you can sit and worship, Dur worship Devi Durga by some other methods, by chanting one's eight names of Goddess Durga or by doing some mantra for Goddess Durga. Or you can just chant one mala, one's eight times of Navaran Mantra itself. Or odd number of malas, you know, two, uh, one mala, three mala, five mala, seven mala of Navaran Mantra. And at the end, you can offer flowers. This will greatly please Devi. And if done for all the nine days of Navratri with a clean heart, pure, proper devotion, unflinching devotion. And if you have a practical wish in your mind, then it will get fulfilled for sure. So this is one of very great Priyogams for Devi, which is done for multiple things, you know, for getting married, for getting a job, for getting good professional status, for getting name, fame and status. These things can be done. This particular practice can be done and this will greatly help you. In fact, if someone is into a fight or someone is into a court case litigation, right? if one wants to become victorious over enemies, then light a lamp in front of Lord Hanuman in morning or evening. And after lighting the lamp, you can Worship Lord Hanuman. You can read Hanuman Chalisa, Hanuman Satika, Bajrangaban. Any of these things you can read, you can chant, you can do a mantra chanting of Hanuman. Specifically, worshipping Hanuman with deep dhanam, worshipping Hanuman after lighting lamp properly gives you victory in any type of fight, court case or litigation whatsoever it is. Right? So this is also one of the priyogam that you can use, that you can, you know, that you can have in your practice. Most importantly, you know, for us astrologers also, this Deepam is very, very important. In Kerala astrology, we don't, like in, in Kerala astrology, in the chamber of the astrologer, Deepam should be there. Because the flame of the Deepam and the light of the Deepam and the height of the flame of the Deepam, these are used extensively in making predictions as per Ashtamangal method. Not going into that, normally telling you that while lighting Deepam, you should not utter in auspicious words, curse anyone or talk bad about anyone, or in fact, talk to anyone. This will bring in auspiciousness to the worship. If some good person, mother, father, priest, respected person comes in home or passes by you when you are lighting the lamp, then you should understand that whatever wish or desire you are having in your mind, it will get fulfilled. If cat, rat, other such 
animals or you know negative dirty bad people pass by you or come in home when you are lighting lamp then you should understand that negative energies are attacking you or near and dear ones and in near future some problems calamities etc can come that you should know through the help of astrology and prepare yourselves accordingly generally in such cases shanti karma doing donations for god visiting temple doing protective mantra chanting etc is recommended that should be done if the lamp if the you know like light of the lamp light of the deepam is burning straight then it is very very good if the light of the lamp is twisted in one direction or other direction if there is a smoky light if there is a black light if there is sound from the flame or if the deepam falls down then it indicates inauspicious it indicates bad results basically it indicates that some negative kritya prayogam black magic etc is being done on you or some negative energies are on the rise or someone in home is doing some bad practice it can be you know it can be a normal family member who is into a bad company or the normal family member who is misguided it does indicate that something bad is happening in using astrology or you know while talking to family members and using your resources you should find out what bad is going on and should stop it and generally in such cases in next one in next 15 days one week 15 days some inauspicious event happens so one should be mentally physically emotionally financially prepared for it and the and this you know like whether the flame is becoming smoky or what should be observed throughout the worship procedure so this deepam in a particular way also gives you an insight about future and as i already told you the practice of astrology is incomplete without properly observing the deepam so if you are wanting to make something in a good career in astrology then lighting a lamp every day and then observing it for 5 minutes is very essential for you that you should do and i hope that all of these things that these tips that i have given you you will implement and these priyogams that i have told you that you will do in your life and will make yourself more prosperous and happy